regarding the common question in medicine what what are the indications of dialysis in a ckd patient that we can see under the two headings there are some clinical indication and there are some laboratory indication when we say the clinical indication the first the common uh, common clinical uh, cases that we usually encounter in the medicine what's a uremic pericarditis uremic encephalopathy refractive volume overload the volume overload which is not responding to the diuretics rarely lung manifestation in the form of pleuritis or the uremic lung uremic gastritis uremic coagulopathy or even a chronic malnutrition and what is the urea creatinine cutoff there is no urea creatinine cutoff these manifestations are more common as the urea start rising more than 180 in 200 so these are all the uh, clinical indication for starting dialysis in a CKD patient and how to diagnose this how these are uh, how to rule out the other condition of for example encephalopathy that we will see in a separate video coming to the labra, labra, laboratory parameters the refractory hyperkalemia potassium more than 6.5 acidosis that pH less than 7.1 or bicarbonate less than 5 and the rarely refractory hyperphosphatemia this usually won't occur unless the patient EGFR is less than 15 what is the EGFR cutoff? The EGFR cutoff for an absolute indication to start dialysis is uh, less than 10 or 5. There are there are few trials which have compared starting dialysis at EGFR of 5 to 7 and few have started from 10 to 15. There is no gross mortality benefit. So for the EGFR cutoff, the stage 5 CKD, whenever the manifestation occurs, that might be the point where the dialysis have to be started. So these are all the clinical points around 7 and these are the three, two important laboratory parameters. These two usually accompanied by this manifestation. These are all the indication of dialysis in a CKD patient. Regarding AKA patient, we will see in a separate video.